watching update 5 on Cyclone Bansi, which is now a 105 mile per hour category 2 storm with a uh, pressure of 956 millibars. It's positioned 17.2 degrees south, 59.1 degrees east, and it could re-strengthen over the next few days as well, possibly to category 3 or 4 intensity as it heads towards uh, the Mauritius dependency of Rodriguez, another island towards the east of Mauritius itself. Um, as far as Mauritius is concerned, uh, the storm is still drawing ever so slightly further away from the island, and conditions will probably be improving over the next 24 hours and beyond. So the storm is expected to move towards the southeast and may still be a, a, a cyclone in around five days time as it heads towards the southeast but uh, we'll probably see it turning extra tropical and not affecting any land areas down there of course because there aren't any. Um, but we still have class 2 warnings in effect for Mauritius and the island of Rodriguez as well and a, a pre-alert still in effect for the island of Reunion but I don't think we'll see too much going on there. Uh, so it's just the former two that I mentioned that will probably see the uh, most uh, effects from the storm. Um, of course, on Rodriguez, if the storm does head on its forecasted path, we could possibly see uh, Category 2 or 3 conditions there, maybe, if it goes um, as the storm is expected to go. Uh, the sea surface temperatures are remaining fairly warm, around 26 or 27 degrees Celsius. Um, that's around 80 degrees Fahrenheit and that's likely to remain the case for around a day or two as the storm heads towards the southeast before uh, dropping below that threshold and then we'll probably see some weakening rather quickly. Uh, wind shear, you can see that big hole there, that darker area around the storm, that's low amounts of wind shear and it's decreasing towards the east and southeast so that means the storm uh, is likely to intensify. Water vapour isn't too much of an issue either, there's no dry air really around the storm. Uh, just way off to the east and north uh, but yes uh, that's not going to be an issue the latest satellite imagery you can see how the storm's been progressing uh, not animated unfortunately at this in this part of the world uh, but you can still see the eye there it's not a particularly impressive one uh, uh, in, in contrast to what we saw around two days ago when it reached its category 5 peak you can see Mauritius in the pink outline towards the bottom of your screen there and just about Reunion as well uh, just above the blue bar at the bottom there uh, but you can still see the storm heading towards the southeast. Uh, the eye is still there, the core around the storm is still there too. Spiral bands here and there affecting Mauritius, uh, but not too much as has been the case for some time. So let's take a look around the world as of uh, 2 p.m. on January the 14th, 2015. This is the current situation. Invest 93S still going in the uh, Mozambique Channel. Could form actually and may strike Madagascar. Of course, we have Bansi and a new tropical storm in the Western Pacific, the first one of the year, Mekhala, and that's likely to strike the Philippines in a few days' time. So that is the second storm to form so far in 2015. Uh, of course, we've already seen the first. That's Bansi still going, of course. And that is the first Category 5 storm of the year as well. So it's uh, really gone off with a bang this year, 2015. Uh, 2014, of course, finished up with 80 tropical storms in the end. And 26 major hurricane equivalent Category 3 storms. You can follow 413 on any of its six outlets. The website 413.com is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world storm wise. Of course the video pages will also keep you regularly updated as will the social pages too. Search 413 on Facebook, at 413 on Twitter and you can speak to me personally on Skype at Fool13 for tropical weather chat on there. Um, and of course the next update on this storm will follow either in 12 hours time 2am UTC on January the 15th if necessary or in 24 hours 2pm tomorrow that will be 6pm local time in Mauritius and beyond. That's all for now.